Emmanuel Macron is being urged to suspend the use of the AstraZeneca vaccine again after a 24-year-old student was found dead in Nantes last week. The medical student was found dead in his apartment on Thursday, March 18, by the firefighters after an alert from his family. The police found a document certifying the student had received the Anglo-Swedish vaccine on March 8. The Nantes prosecutor's office opened an investigation into the causes of death and ordered an autopsy. The report mentions internal bleeding caused by thrombosis, according to a source close to the file who spoke to West France, as reported by French daily Le Figaro. The National Agency for the Safety of Medicines ANSM, said the case was under clinical investigation. A spokesman added, at this stage, there is nothing to make the link between death and vaccination. This case of death is the subject of an in-depth clinical investigation by the regional pharmacovigilance centers. More than a dozen EU countries, including France, suspended the Oxford jab last week after reported cases of blood clots as one of the side effects. After an investigation by the European Medicines Agency, EMA, which ruled out the link between most thromboses and vaccination with AstraZeneca, the suspension was lifted. Now the leader of Les Patriots in France is urging President Macron to suspend the vaccine again. Florian Philippot blasted, suspicious death in Nantes of a student, France must suspend hashtag AstraZeneca and also investigate other vaccines, like Finland, which recently suspended, like the Nordic countries, which are waiting for serious expertise. Health before their money. The Anglo-Swedish jab providers were also forced to defend themselves today after U.S. authorities suggested some of their data on trials results may not be the most up-to-date. The firm said, figures released on Monday showing the jab was 79% effective against coronavirus and 100% effective against severe disease was stood up in all of the data it has looked at. It comes as U.S. federal health officials said results from the U.S.-led trial may have used outdated information. The U.S. Data and Safety Monitoring Board, DSMB, said in a statement that it was concerned that AstraZeneca may have provided an incomplete view of the efficacy data. But AstraZeneca said, the numbers published yesterday were based on a pre-specified interim analysis with a data cutoff of February 17. We have reviewed the preliminary assessment of the primary analysis and the results were consistent with the interim analysis. Thank <laughs> you.